the Chrome Soft X LS uh, ticked all the boxes, so it was uh, it was a really easy switch. Johnny Wonder here with Callaway Golf. I am here with Mark Leishman. How are you doing, Mark? Good. How Good are to you? See you, man. Yeah, you too. Uh, we're talking golf balls today. So you played Chrome Soft X successfully for a couple of years. You had a, you know, obviously a really nice run. Interesting switch into the LS ball. So just first and foremost, what was the necessity for the switch and what have you gained going into LS? Well, a couple of reasons. Um, wanted to gain a couple of yards off the tee, uh, as everyone does. <laughs> um, but I still wanted to keep that, um, I call it the zip around the greens. Okay. Um, you know, if you had that 40 or 50 yard pitch shot that you need to stop pretty quickly. Um, I still wanted to be able to do that. And the Chrome Soft X LS uh, ticked all the boxes. So it was, uh, it was a really easy switch. Did you, gain, did you gain anything new by switching to LS? Was there a shot you couldn't hit with the other ball that you can hit with now? Um, I probably gained a, a bit of feel. Okay. Like I, I was using a fairly spinny ball um, beforehand. So I just gained that high bomb that you get that goes like that. Yeah. Um, I gained that rather than <laughs> that one that goes ball? like that. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but then didn't lose anything around the greens. Okay. So it was like a win-win and um, my second tournament with uh, with the XLS was um, was the Sony and I think I finished fourth, almost won it. So That validates a couple of things. Yeah, it does. And yeah. Particularly in the wind as well, to know it performs in the wind as well. Um, you know, because we don't play in the same conditions every day. So right. you need to make sure it performs in all different conditions and, and it did that. And Hawaii is obviously a great place to test golf balls, right? You got to hit every shot and you got to keep it down, keep it up, do the whole thing, right? Exactly, yeah. And at the Sony, um, you know, you have to shape it a little bit. The, the greens are normally fairly firm. So um, you have to test that little zipper, as I call it. Uh, <laughs> Hopefully not too often. Yeah, but when but every once in a while, it's yeah, exactly. okay. Yeah. Um, we have Top Tracer here. We're going to have you hit a couple of shots. But really quickly, um, when you're testing golf balls, do you work from the green backwards, or are you tee ball first into the green? Like, where do you where do you look? On the green, back to the Working tee. Working back. Yeah. So, okay. um, if I have a, you know, a 40, 30 yard pitch shot, and if I can't hit that one that spins a lot and, and stops on a dime, I'll um, go bye bye. I don't want to <laughs> go to the next ball. So uh, okay. I feel like that's where, as a golf professional, I make most of my money right. is uh, around around the greens. If I can't get it up and down, I'm probably not going to win tournaments. So um, Sage advice. As good as that extra five or ten yards might be, um, I'm not going to sacrifice the, the short game for that. And with this ball, it was sort of the best of both worlds. And for the, have both. for the folks at home, that's good advice, right? I mean, even for the amateur golfers, I mean, what, what the ball does around the green should, should be at a premium. Yeah, I think once you get to a, a certain level, definitely. Right. Um, you know, if you're playing on softer, slower greens, it's probably not as big a deal. But um, you know, on tour, we're playing on firm, fast greens most weeks, and um, it's important to be able to stop it on the green. Right. Uh, okay, we're gonna have you hit a couple. I want you to hit a couple of seven irons. We yep. got one of each ball. Right. Here, this is a Chrome uh, Chrome Soft X. Yep. Okay, it'd be interesting to see on top tracer what that looks like. This is the ball you're currently playing yep. right now. We're just trying to get a sense of, of the difference in ball flight. Top tracer picks all that stuff up. All right. So off of like a mid iron shot with a seven iron, as far as the flight's concerned, did you see any changes in the height at all or? Uh, I don't think so. Um, it's sort of hard when you, you know, you, I was just getting a ball, like getting this ball and I tested that to see if I like it. I don't right. necessarily always test them side by side. Okay. Just because if I like it, I like it. Right, um, yeah. And then I'll work out how it's different after I work out if I like it or not. Right. Um, but yeah, I'm not actually sure. As long as it works, I'm sort of not too into all that stuff. I, I understand so, that yeah. rationale, yeah. I do want to hit a couple of drivers just so the people at home can kind of check out right. what it looks like off of the yep. driver. So Sounds good. Uh, we're going to grab a couple more golf balls here. That was drilled. A little so we get on top tracer. 164 ball speed and 90 apex. OK. All right. So now we're going to go to the, uh, the gamer. See if I can get her out of the middle. That was mash. One sixty-six and ninety-seven. Right. So I got about six, which seven, seven or eight feet in the air. 
Yeah. At your level, that's that's quite a substantial increase in, in launch, Especially right? Especially downwind. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Bit of extra distance, hopefully. There you go.